it is better by noble boldness to run. The risk of being subject to half of the evils. We anticipate than to remain in cowardly. Listlessness for fear of what might happen. After all, no one is stupid. Enough to prefer war to peace. In peace sons bury their fathers. And in war fathers bury their sons. If a man insisted on always being serious. And never allowed himself. A bit of fun and relaxation. He would go mad or become unstable. Without knowing it. The saddest aspect of life is that. There is no one on earth who's. Happiness is such that he won't sometimes wish. He were dead rather than alive. Some men give up their designs when they have almost reached the goal. While others, on the contrary, obtain a victory by exerting, at the last moment more vigorous, efforts than ever before. But this I know, if all mankind were to take their troubles to market with the idea of exchanging them, anyone seeing what is neighbors troubles were like would be glad to go home with his own. The most hateful grief of all human griefs is this to have knowledge of the truth but no power over the event. The worst pain a man can suffer to have insight into much and power over nothing. Men trust their ears less than their eyes. In peace, children enter their parents. War violates the order of nature and causes parents to endure their children. Force has no place where there is need of skill. Historia, inquiry so that the actions of a people will not fade with time. No one is so senseless as to choose of his own will war rather than peace. Since in peace the sons bury their fathers, but in war the fathers bury their sons. Great deeds are usually run at great risks. Happiness is not fame or riches or heroic virtues, but a state that will inspire posterity to think and reflecting upon our life, that it was the life they would wish to live. It is the greatest and the tallest of trees that the gods bring low with bolts and thunder for the gods love to thwart whatever is greater than the rest. They do not suffer pride in anyone but themselves. They made it plain to everyone. However, and above all to the king himself that although he had plenty of troops, he did not have many men.
the longer the span of someone's existence, the more certain he is to see and suffer much that he would rather have been spared.